Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another Zabbix video. This is a special day for me, for you, because uh, something uh, special happened. Uh, a company reached out to me and um, decided to kind of uh, contribute to the world, to the open source community, to Zabbix, and uh, release some module for free. and. Uh, here, like the use case is highly uh, related to my needs. That's why I'm wearing the tie, and it's practically solving my Zabbix problems. And maybe, maybe it is uh, exciting for you as well. So, what's the use case? And the use case is uh, ah. First of all, let's have a, a round of applause. Like, which company is uh, responsible about this dream come true? And that's called uh, Mon Monsphere, and the subtitle is like uh, Zabbix Modules Development. So it's very highly related to the Zabbix monitoring software. If you have special needs, special vision, how you think a dashboard should look like, or something is missing, feel free to reach out to them. And now to my use case. And the use case is simple, like top hosts widget. I was waiting for ages, uh, uh, like waiting uh, when finally we will be able to sort by column title, like uh, out from the box, the official uh, uh, module allows to order by one field and uh, then it's like quite tied to the widget and uh, if you want to sort by another field, you open again and and th this is not practical too much. And how about like uh, sorting the columns on the fly? Like here we see version agent uptime. If I click here on uptime, click, it is showing which ones are like uh, uptime uh, uh, with the smallest uh, number. If I click again, like the biggest one. And so a lot of characteristics like no matter what kind of data you put here, integers, decimal numbers, or text strings here, like operating system, click, and it sorts by operating system. How beautiful is that? Like, uh, you want to see like which uh, uh, processes consume um, like most of the juice? Uh, click uh, and uh, click again. Like uh, we see the leaders, uh, disk space, memory space, uh, CPU usage, like. Everything is one click away. Like how crazy it is. Uh, how crazy is that? And um, uh, yeah. Um, so that's the solution. And uh, let, let's a little bit recap. And um, what this module is really a fork of uh, of existing one. If we look on the administration, general modules. Uh, we scroll uh, down and we see we have top hosts widget officially released by Zabbix and uh, what the company did is like clone the module and probably rename some classes so they both can coexist inside the Zabbix. That's like huge thing. Like uh, we just install additional module and it will completely work in parallel. Um, uh, maybe like a, a small downside is like you cannot convert existing top hosts uh, the, the functionality to the new one because it's completely uh, sits in a different area in the database like all the settings is, is uh, like um, yeah it's it stored in, in a different area and um, uh, yeah um, what else? Um, one thing uh, I wanted to show is like some uh, hidden functionality, uh, which is uh, ah, but first, like how to install this module. Let's a little bit recap. And um, we have a GitHub page here. Uh, and uh, this is the project released like yesterday. <laughs> And uh, it was, uh, I was very excited. I just uh, told my problem and like 22 hours later, solution arrived in my inbox. Just check check it out. It, does it uh, uh, answers your, <laughs> your dreams? And uh, yes, <laughs> and it, it's the solution. And uh, let, let's, let's try to reinstall here. Uh, inside the front end server, we need to visit the directory modules. Uh, this time uh, I have already it here. I will just remove it for the 
enter entertainment. Uh, so I'm removing the directory. And what you should need to do, like widget, uh, like this, and uh, click here, download zip, copy link address, put it here, click, unzip, and uh, unzip the file, uh, remove the main. Uh, okay, and now the front end almost recognize the module what we need to do else is like visit the settings administration general modules click here scan directory click and only then it will scan and recognize and this guy will uh, like appear in the list and of course you like use the 7.0 LTS version like most likely this is not supported for 7.2.7.4 like but uh, 7.0 it's a uh, it's a very solid choice like uh, 7.0 will have the life cycle until the year 2029 like if you are on the 7.0 then um, this is a excellent win from my point of view it's it's excellent um, yeah so make sure the module is enabled over here and then like uh, inside while doing uh, all the dashboarding we have two options like top hosts. So this comes with from Zabbix, from vendor, from uh, official vendor of the product. And this is the fork. Uh, they both can co coexist. You can also decide to completely uh, disable this uh, official one and use only the, the other one which supports uh, sorting on the fly. Uh, whatever you put in the table, you can like sort on the fly. Um, Okay, uh, so that's for the installation and uh, I wanted to share one um, thing which I think I saved only in the bookmarks and that is this one and um, there is like a hidden thing which is not so documented um, and like uh, it comes from the pdf reporting like if you are interested how pdf reports work it actually also is using uh, some sort of uh, php file it opens the dashboard uh, and uh, it opens the dashboard without a menu and then it prints to the pdf document and if we know the details like we can e visit this url we can kind of like bookmark it uh, which is called zabbix php action dashboard print and then the dashboard id so this one is not having the menu in on the left side which is like the maximize maximizing the width uh, for the for this view and what i like ad about this the most like you can uh, share the url inside the chat like with the colleagues like check out this reporting like these servers are consuming too, ma too much resources and we share this link without the menu and they open and they can like sort immediately like see all the resource consumptions uh, like refresh the page and uh, like uh, the numbers change and uh, it's like very excellent thing um, yeah to to use uh, for the sake of the reporting to really work with the data, react on the data, take actions based on the data on screen. And this like sorting, from my opinion, it's like very practical thing. Like I uh, remember the Excel days when we work with the spreadsheets, uh, ordering alphabetically, ordering by biggest numbers, uh, then this is like equivalent to, to the thing. Okay. Okay, that is everything for this uh, video. Uh, all the relevant links, uh, installation, uh, that is inside the video description. If you find it uh, useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to visit the website, the owner uh, of the module who is like contributing to the world and giving this away for free. Uh, check out their services and uh, thanks for watching.